hey what up everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is fred so today we're going to be looking at this question here this one okay so this is the elevation and plan of a component all right and the question says the elevation and plan of a component are shown draw the component in isometric making the point x the lowest point so making this point the lowest point now let me explain a few things now this is the elevation on the plan from here you could see that um this part you could see that it is visible to you that means you could see it all right so this one definitely represents the stop had it been this way to be a hidden detail then it would have represented the base here okay but it is visible so that means this top part is round then this is um the base this part here it is squared all right all right so now you see this broken line here this one okay that's the cylindrical hole representing this one so because it is visible to us that means you could see it you can see it from the top all right that means the hole is visible to us but this other one is hidden this other hole here this broken line hidden details representing this one and this this cylindrical uh, structure here all right and it is directly under this one that is this round top that is why it is appearing as what hidden so take note of that all right before we continue do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you very much so let us start now the first thing you're going to do is uh draw a thin uh line so align your ruler or your t-square whichever one you have and then draw a thin line all right now do not forget we need to draw an isometric box first that will contain this entire drawing now for more details on how to draw an isometric block uh, sorry on how to draw an isometric box you could um go see um other videos i've made on isometric drawing introduction to isometric drawing and um you'll find details on how to draw the isometric box that will contain this drawing all right then also you need to understand that the total height of this drawing is 75 if you add 50 to 10 and to 15 that will give you um 75 then the receding line to the right is 70 and the receding line to the left is 70 you could see that from the plan so this is what uh, 70 square meaning that this is a square base structure and it is 70 by 70 so now align your set square in this form and drop a perpendicular line here all right so after dropping that line the next thing you do is you um, bring your get your protractor and align so you know how to draw this already asymmetric box now uh, take note of 30 degrees to the right and to the left and draw lines through those 30 degree uh, lines and you have this okay now the next we're going to do we're going to what transfer those dimensions into what um this drum now um like i told you the receding line to the right and to the left are 70 each while the height is what is um 75 so measure um 70 here as you can see take note of it all right then uh, measure 70 to the right also and just um put a pencil mark there to show that that's 70 then also align your set square in this form and transfer to this point draw a vertical line thin line all of these are thin lines for now and transfer to this point here where you measure 70 and draw what a thin line up so what we're going to do next is we're going to measure height of what of 75 on all the vertical lines drawn so measure 75 so you can see this is 7.5 all right take note of it measure 7.5 here also take note of it and measure 7.5 here also and take note of it just put a pencil dot there then connect this 7.5 and connect this 7.5 right now erase the extended lines and uh, get your set square transfer lines to this point so align your set square in that form all right align it to this line and it is properly seated on the word ruler and transfer lines to this point here draw thin lines and align your set square um sorry your ruler and measure what you know this line is what is 70 this is also 70 all right so you measure 70 on it 
and take note of the 70 and uh, connect this point to the 70 and that gives you the isometric box so let's start the drawing proper now this is 15 all right so we are, we are starting from the top so you're going to measure 15 that's 1.5 each all right you can see that now measure 1.5 from the top 1.5 from the top 1.5 from the top now join this with thin lines and join this with thin lines now i'm using green lines the reason is because i want to differentiate it from this one on top here all right so let's continue now after doing that align your what your c square in this form all right with align it to this line here and transfer lines here and draw um, a thin line there align your c square in this form also transfer lines to this um, point here and draw thin lines and they will meet at this point like this so for this round part here you know it has a top and a base bottom okay so that's what these two um rom rhombus are representing for the top and for the bottom and do not also forget that for you to draw an isometric circle you need what a rhombus of same what diameter as that circle so now do not forget that this is 70 by 70 that also tells you that this circle has a diameter of what 70 all right so um what we'll do next is you join the diagonal so we want to draw the one at the top first join your diagonal like this then get your ruler now we're going to uh, indicate we're going to take note of the center of each of the lines so you know this is 70 so that means the midpoint will be what 35 so you take note of the midpoint there we're also going to do the same thing here align your ruler take note of the midpoint which is 35 or 3.5 if you like do the same thing here and take note of the midpoint here so all of these are what 3.5 3.5 each now what we're going to do is we're going to choose to either draw lines from here to this midpoint and from here to this midpoint because our target is for the line to cut this diagonal and we'll take note of the point where to cut it or you can choose to also draw your lines from the base to this midpoint and this midpoint so whichever one you choose um, is okay but let's also use um let's use the bottom this point here so draw lines from here to this midpoint from here to this midpoint all right thin lines get your pair of compass needle at this point of intersection and stretch to this midpoint and describe an arc from this midpoint to this midpoint like this so we're done doing that do the same thing here you needle at this point stretch to this midpoint here of this line and describe an arc stop here as well okay now get your uh, pair of compass needle at this point here stretch to this midpoint and draw an arc from this midpoint to this midpoint and you get that then do the same thing here you needle at this point here stretch to this midpoint and describe an arc also and that gives you what the round top so we'll move over to the uh the bottom um round part also that is what drawn in green now connect the diagonal also after doing that measure and take note of the center which is 3.5 like we did for the top so that's 3.5 and this is 3.5 all right because the whole of this is seven now um we are going to transfer you see this distance since both um isometric circles are the same diameter we don't need to necessarily draw lines to look for the center we can as well transfer this um distance from this point here to where you have this intersection we can transfer it down so like this so you transfer it down and take note of the what the point do the same thing for this side you needle here stretch here and transfer down and draw lines so you see these two points are um the same thing as the points you have here when you drew this uh, isometric circle so now get your pair of compass needle at this point here stretch to this midpoint now we're going to draw an arc but we're not we're not going to exceed this diagonal all right so draw an arc to stop then you stop at the diagonal do the same thing here needle here stretch here draw an arc i hope that's clear to touch the diagonal now get a pair of compass and needle at this point stretch to this midpoint and draw an arc from this midpoint to this midpoint so you get you um end up having something like this then we need to connect this point of intersection between this arc and this diagonal to this point of intersection between this arc this arc and this diagonal on both sides so connect them with a ruler like this and you have the top 
Now let's move to the next uh, step. Now we want to draw the bottom, this base here. So this is 10. So measure 10, measure 10 here and measure 10. So connect them with a thick line. That's 10. Connect to 10 um, with a thick line. That's it. Now um, print the remaining part. All right. Draw them thick lines, and you have that. Now align your set square in this form and transfer lines here and draw a thin line align your set square with this line here with your ruler or t square position transfer lines here and draw and it will meet that uh, line you just drew now at that point now what we want to do now is we want to draw this uh, you know this, uh, this one here the one of 40 diameter the cylindrical part here all right that's what we want to draw we want to draw the base all right so now con um align your ruler and take note of the now remember this is 40 right so if this is 40 and this one here is 70 that means if you align your ruler like this right if the midpoint is um 3.5 okay so this point here 1.5 will be 2 and um, this point here uh, 5.1 Will be another two from this midpoint of 3.5 i hope that's understood in other words what i'm saying is this um 70 minus 40 that would give you what 30 right so remove 1.5 from this side and remove 1.5 from this side so just dot this point here and this point here and what you are left with is what 40 i hope that's clear so do the same thing for this side um you dot 1.5 from here and 1.5 from here so what you are left with is 40 so that gives you this 40 this diameter 40 here so align your set square transfer lines here and draw a thin line transfer lines here also and draw a thin line do the same thing here align your set square transfer lines draw a thin line and transfer lines and draw a thin lines now it will bring that what the rhombus that is required for the what the um this cylinder of 40 for the base i hope that's clear so you can erase it and um dress it up properly but before you do that draw the diagonal just like we did for this one at the top now erase them properly and um you will have that so what we're going to do now is just apply the same principle we did uh, sorry we applied for the top here so uh, take note of the center now this is measuring what four as you can see then the midpoint is what two so we'll do the same thing here take note of the midpoint two now connect this point to this midpoint and connect this point to this midpoint remember this is the point of intersection that we're looking for now get your pair of compass needle at this point stretch to this midpoint and draw arcs to this diagonal do not exceed the diagonal do the same thing for this other side stretch to this point and describe an arc to touch the diagonal now needle at this point here stretch to this midpoint and draw this arc and you have it there now um get your set square align into this vertical line like this and transfer lines to this point here and draw it until it touches this what this arc like this continue and transfer to this point also and draw lines until it touches the arc that gives you the what the the bottom that is this cylindrical part here all right now draw this thick line until it touches this point and draw this thick line you know this is not a transparent object so that's why we are not uh, drawing the hidden details of the other part that cannot be seen all right so we're done with this so the last thing we're going to do now is to draw this cylindrical hole here at the top get your now take note of, you still remember this point we have here right the midpoint of this line the midpoint of this line the midpoint of this line and this so we're going to connect this midpoint with a straight line all right so connect that with a thin line and connect that with a thin line okay now i'm going to get my ruler and i will align now take note the diameter is 30 so that means you will need a rhombus of what 30 by 30 for you to be able to draw what this isometric circle or this circle here do you understand now align your ruler in this form such that at this midpoint of intersection all right to your left and to your right or if you like to the top and to the bottom is a uh, 30 so that means from here to this point is 1.5 and from here to this point is 1.5 that gives you what 30 so take note of them all right remember i centralize it now do the same thing for this side align your ruler in this form so just align your 1.5 there so this is your what um zero 
and this is your three so that will give you also what um um 30 mm so you take note of this point there i hope that's clear now get your set square align it in this form and transfer lines to this point draw a thin line so i'm using red lines now so to differentiate it from every other line there so transfer to this point and draw a thin line now do the same thing align your set square in this form transfer to this point here and draw a what a thin line and to that other point and draw a thin line now it will bring out what a rhombus the one in red i hope that's clear now you can choose to erase it and dress it up properly but before you do that um join this point to this midpoint here and this point to this midpoint and you will have that now you can erase the excess lines if you like and so get your pair of compass needle at this point stretch to this midpoint and draw from this midpoint to this midpoint and arc do the same thing here needle at this point stretch to this midpoint or you can stretch here whichever one and draw an arc from this midpoint to this midpoint now needle your pair of compass here and stretch to this midpoint and describe an arc from this midpoint to this midpoint and do the same thing needle here stretch here and draw this and that gives you what the complete drawing of the component all right so the next thing you want to do is dimension the drawing so you dimension in this form i hope you found this very very easy um if you do not understand for the first time rewind the video um take it back and um go through the process again i can assure you you get all right so do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel once more my name is fred i'll be coming away again with more examples like this thanks for watching do have a nice day bye